This is the Wikipedia page for Anthropodermic Bibliopegy. You're listening to the podcast where we read Wikipedia articles and provide commentary. Welcome to Wikilisten. I'm Rachel Teichman, LMSW. I'm Victor Bernardo, KSN. Everyone, if you like books bound by human flesh, this is the episode for you. Happy Halloween! Anthropodermic Bibliopegy. Anthropodermic bibliopegy is the practice of binding books in human skin. As of May 2019, the Anthropodermic Book Project has examined 31 out of 50 books in public institutions supposed to have anthropodermic bindings, of which 18 have been confirmed as human and 13 have been demonstrated to be animal leather instead. Well, thank goodness. Terminology. Bibliopegy is a rare synonym for bookbinding. It combines the ancient Greek biblion, book, and pegia from pegninae to fasten. The earliest reference in the Oxford English Dictionary dates from 1876. Merriam-Webster gives the date of the first use as circa 1859. And the OED records an instance of bibliopegist for a bookbinder from 1824. The word anthropodermic, combining the ancient Greek anthropos, man or human, and derma, skin, does not appear in the Oxford English Dictionary and appears to be unused in contexts other than bookbinding. The phrase anthropodermic bibliopegy has been used at least since Lawrence S. Thompson's article on the subject, published in 1946. The practice of binding a book in the skin of its author, as with The Highwayman, has been called autoanthropodromic bibliopegy from autos meaning self. History. An early reference to a book bound in human skin is found in the travels of Zacharias Conrad von Uffenbach, writing about his visit to Bremen in 1710. We also saw a little duodecimo Moleri Manual preparations ad mortem. There seemed to be nothing remarkable about it, and you couldn't understand why it was here until you read in the front that it was bound in human leather. The unusual binding, the like of which I had never before seen, seemed especially well adapted to this book dedicated to more meditation about death. You would take it for pigskin, translated by Lawrence S. Thompson, Relegatum de Pell Humana. During the French Revolution, there were rumors that a tannery for human skin had been established at Moudin outside Paris. The Carnivalet Museum owns a volume containing the French Constitution of, ni- of 1793 and Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, described as passing for being made in human skin imitating calf. The majority of well-attested anthropodermic bindings date from the 19th century. Examples. Criminals. Surviving examples of human skin bindings have often been commissioned, performed, or collected by medical doctors who have access to cadavers, sometimes those of executed criminals, such as the case of John Horwood in 1821 and William Corder in 1828. The Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh preserves a notebook bound in the skin of the murderer William Burke after his execution and subsequent public dissection by Professor Alexander Monroe in 1829. Note that Horwood, Corder, and Burke were all hanged and not flayed. Thanks for that note. You're welcome. What Lawrence Thompson called the most famous of all anthropodermic bindings is exhibited at the Boston Athenaeum titled The Highwayman, Narrative of the Life of James Allen alias George Walton. It is by James Allen who made his deathbed confession in prison in 1837 and asked for a copy bound in his own skin to be presented to a man he once tried to rob and admired for his bravery and another one for his doctor. Once he died, a piece of his back was taken to a tannery and utilized for the book. Yikes. I wonder how they decide which part of the body to take skin from. I mean, I guess the back is a good size because it's like a big flat piece and doesn't have a lot of creases or features on it. True. 
So that's how I, I mean, I think you take the back, you take a big piece from, or like around the thigh, maybe. Ah, uh, yes. The booty skin. No, I did not say that. But I did. Dance of Death. An exhibition of fine bindings at the Grawlier Club in 1903 included, in a section of bindings in curious materials, three editions of Holbein's Dance of Death in 19th century human skin bindings. Two of these now belong to the John Hay Library at Brown University. Other examples of the Dance of Death include an 1856 edition offered at auction by Leonard Smithers in 1895 and an 1842 edition from the personal library of Florin Abelis was offered at auction by Piazza of Paris in 2006. Bookbinder Edward Hertzberg describes the Monastery Hill Bindery having been approached by an army surgeon with a copy of Holbein's Dance of Death with the request that we bind it in a piece of human skin, which he brought along. <laughs> Here you go. You need material. That sounds like something I would do in D&D is just like carry around a piece of human skin. Oh yeah, that is exactly what you do in Dungeons and Dragons. Other examples. Another tradition with less supporting evidence is that books of erotica have been bound in human skin. Nice. <laughs> a female admirer of the French astronomer Camille Flammarion supposedly bequeathed her skin to bind one of his books. At Flammarion's observatory, there is a copy of his La Pluralite de Monde Hab Habide, on which it is stamped Relur on Paul Humane, 1880, Human Skin Binding, 1880. This story is sometimes told instead about Le Terre du Ciel and the donor named as the Comtesse de Saint Anne. I speak French, everybody. Did you ever? You never took French, right? I guess. I took approximately three days of French in the sixth grade. I was like, this is too hard, and switched to Spanish. Wow. Yeah. That <laughs> listening to you pronounce French words is crazy. I apologize to French speakers all over the world. But it's good information. The Newberry Library in Chicago owns an Arabic manuscript written in 1848 with a handwritten note that it is bound in human skin, though it is the opinion of the conservation staff that the binding material is not human skin, but rather highly burnished goat. This book is mentioned in the novel The Time Traveler's Wife, much of which is set in the Newberry. The National Library of Australia holds a 19th century poetry book with the inscription Bound in Human Skin on the first page. The binding was performed before 1890 and identified as human skin by pathologists in 1992. A portion of the binding in the copy of Dale Carnegie's Lincoln the Unknown that is part of Temple University's Charles L. Bloxon collection was taken from the skin of a Negro at a Baltimore hospital and tanned by the Jewel Belting Company. That was in quotes, everybody, taken from the skin of a Negro. That's not, it's, it's, it's a quote. So that's not how a person who edits Wikipedia describes the situation. It's actually a quote that he took from a source. Identification. The identification of human skin bindings has been attempted by examining the pattern of hair follicles to distinguish human skin from that of other animals typically used for book bindings, such as calf, sheep, goat, and pig. This is a necessarily subjective test made harder by the distortions in the process of treating leather for binding. Testing a DNA sample is possible in principle, but DNA can be destroyed when skin is tanned, degrades over time, and can be contaminated by human readers. Instead, peptide mass fingerprinting, PMF, and matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization, MALDI, have recently been used to identify the material of book bindings. A tiny sample is extracted from the book's covering and the collagen analyzed by mass spectronomy to identify the variety of proteins which are characteristic of different species. 
PMF can identify skin as belonging to a primate. Since monkeys were almost never used as a source of skin for bindings, this implies human skin. Almost never. The Historical Medical Library of the College of Physicians of Philadelphia owns five anthropodermic books confirmed by peptide mass fingerprinting in 2015, of which three were bound from the skin of one woman. This makes it the largest collection of such books in one institution. The books can be seen in the associated Mütter Museum, which is very fun. The John Hay Library at Brown University owns four anthropodermic books also confirmed by PMF. Vesalius's De Humani Corporis Fabrica, two 19th century editions of Holbein's Dance of Death, and Mademoiselle Gerard, My Wife, 1891. Three books in the libraries of Harvard University have been reputed to be bound in human skin, but peptide mass fingerprinting has confirmed only one. De Destinée de l'Amé by Arsène Husset, held in the Houghton Library. The other two books at Harvard were determined to be bound in sheepskin, the first being Ovid's Metamorphosis, held in the Countway Library, the second being a treatise on Spanish law, Practicarum Questionum Serva Leges Regius Hispaniae, held in the Library of Harvard Law School. <laughs> Fun fact, I also speak Latin. Oh. The Harvard Skin Book belonged to Dr. Ludovic Buland of Strasbourg, died 1932, who rebound a second, De Integritas and Corruptions Virginum Notice, now in the Wellcome Library in London. The Wellcome also owns a notebook labeled as bound in the skin of the Negro whose execution caused the War of Independence, presumably Crispus Attucks, but the library doubts that it is actually human skin. In popular culture, the binding of books in human skin is also a common element within horror films and works of fiction. Fiction. In H.P. Lovecraft's horror story, The Hound, 1922, the narrator and his friend St. John, who are grave robbers, have a collection of macabre artifacts, amongst them a locked portfolio bound in tan human skin held certain unknown and unnameable drawings which it was rumored Goya had perpetrated but dared not acknowledge. In David H. Keller's short story Binding Deluxe, first published in Marvel Tales, May 1934, a bookbinder uses the skins of the men she murders to create a deluxe binding for a set of Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> wow. In Brian Lumley's story, Billy's Oak, 1970, a book, the Chat Aquadingen, is bound in human skin. Although over 400 years old, it still sweats. What? PC Hogdell's Kensier series, 1982 onwards, features the book bound in pale leather, which appears to be bound in living human skin. Chuck Palahniuk's novel, Lullaby, 2002, features a book bound in human skin called The Grimoire. In the novel The Journal of Dora Damage, 2008, by Belinda Starling, a bookbinder is brought leather by a client with which to undertake a special binding of this nature. In Linda Fairstein's mystery novel Lethal Legacy, 2009, a book collector shows investigators an 1828 book of trial proceedings that is bound with the skin of a convicted murderer. In the novel The Eye of God, 2013 by James Rollins, Vigor receives a package from Father Joseph Tarasco that contains a skull and an ancient book bound in human skin. In the Book of Life, 2014 by Deborah Harkness, the final book in the A Discovery of Witches trilogy, the book is made entirely of human creatures' materials, including the binding ink and paper. In Trudy Canavan's novel, Thief's Magic, a protagonist discovers a magical book made by a powerful sorcerer with skin, hair, bones, and tendons from a talented bookbinder. 
in I Am Providence 2016 by Nick Mamatis, a book bound in human skin whose owner is murdered propels the plot. Television and cinema. In the Evil Dead series of films and comic books originally created by Sam Raimi in 1981, a fictional Sumerian book called the Necronomicon Ex Mortis is bound in human skin and inked with human blood. That's true. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. In the Disney film Hocus Pocus 1993, the eldest Sanderson sisters, played by Bette Midler, fictional spellbook, is bound in a patchwork of human skin with an enchanted moving human eye embedded in the cover. Peter Greenaway's 1996 film The Pillow Book contains a sequence in which the body of a writer's lover is exhumed by an obsessed publisher and his skin, which she wrote upon after his death, is painstakingly tanned and bound into a book. The eponymous book in the Canadian television series Todd and the Book of Pure Evil 2010 is allegedly bound in human skin. In the episode Like a Virgin 2011 of the TV series Supernatural, the book containing the spell to release the mother of all is printed rather than bound on human skin. In one episode of Truth Seekers 2020, a prologue scene depicts a sequence where a publisher is killed over the possessions of pages of Precepta Motorum, a book written on sun-dried human skin. Video games. In the video game Shadow Hearts 2001, one of the characters is able to use a book bound from human skin as a weapon. The video game Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem 2002 centers around a book called The Tome of Eternal Darkness, which is bound in human flesh. The video game Assassin's Creed Unity 2014 features the practice of binding books in human skins in a mission set in 18th century Francion. In The Elder Scrolls, the Ogma Infinitum is an artifact of the deity known as Hermamora. It is a book bound in human skin. You guessed it. Of all those books bound in human skin, I've actually only heard of two of them. The Necronomicon Ex Mortis and, of course, uh, The Book of Pure Evil because that was the name of the show. So even though I never saw the show, that was the only book I heard of. I wonder if in any of the books bound by human skin, the skin that was harvested had an active rash. I wonder, and I'm going to have to read more about the highwayman because this guy who tried to rob people and then as a gift sent them his life story bound in his own flesh, that deserves some more uh looking into i guess what we're learning here is you and i have very different questions regarding the art of human skin bookbinding yes we definitely have very different ideas about anthropodermic bibliopegy this has been the wikipedia page for anthropodermic bibliopegy if you want us to read a wikipedia page tell us about it and maybe we will Thanks for listening to Wikilisten. To support the show, go to patreon.com slash wikilistenpodcast and find us on social media 